Hey guys, it's Violet. Um, today I'm going to be filming a video for you. Um, it's going to be a painting tutorial. So I hope I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's going to be um, an abstract piece painted on um, graph paper, as you can see here. Um, and I'm using a new filming technique. Um, cameras. There's two cameras right now. High down there. High up here. Um, so I'm going to be using that so you can see my face and my movements. Um, yeah, so let's get started. This piece is going to be done on this um, graph paper, which is a style that I bought in Europe. Um, you don't need to buy yours in Europe evidently, but, um, you could. And I like this paper a lot. I really like, um, you can see the, the, just the interesting lines of it, and I really like the feel of it. So, for this, um, so for this, we're just going to be using this just really interesting paper. So I don't have a plan for this. I'm just going to start off with this brush here. Um, not really anything particularly interesting. And I'm going to be using, I think to start off, um, this sort of purpley black color. You can see it here too. And I'm just going to put this on my palette. Out. My favorite flat brush for painting. Um, and we're just going to start off by making some bold lines, which is how I like to start all of my paintings. Just grabbing the paint on the brush and just going ape. Um, just using firm strokes is really the key. Um, it's a very organic process for me, painting, so I don't think too hard about anything. And I really cannot stress the importance of just going with the flow. So here I've taken some white onto the brush and I'm just going to add it in while the paint is still wet. And going back into the purple, sort of mix it in a little bit. And um, so, you know, like I said, Extremely subjective process. Uh, let's put that there so that the edges stay. That's going to fall over. We're not going to do that. Oh. Um, and then I'm going to take this. Hmm, what color should we choose? Um, you can see I have my palette, my colors down here. It's not a palette, excuse me. Um, I'm going to go with this nice green color, just a lime green, a nice shade, um, nothing too special. And I'm just going to put this on my palette down here. I love this shade. And we're going to go in with that same brush that still has the purple on it. And let's do a vertical line. I did it. It's a bold move. Let's do another one. So I think I'm feeling some vibes of growing plants on this. It's the vibe I'm getting. So continuing these lines all the way down to the bottom. Now, um, I get the vibe from this where I'm at now that this is really sort of an abstraction of a plant. <laughs> So you can see the stalks here and the purple here. And that's really, I think, where this piece is taking me, is an abstraction on plants. So if we have the stems, we're going to need, I don't know, I'll get that one a little bit. Oh, that's nice. We're going to need the grass. So I don't want to use brown. I want to use a nice, rich red. Um, because I think that's really interesting. So I'm just going to put this on my palette right on top of the purple because 
actually want to mix these shades a little bit. And I still haven't washed my brush at all. That's another trend of my kind of painting. And over here, I'm just going to take this paintbrush and just wipe off the excess green, but not clean it. And then on my palette, kind of mix these together. So I end up with this sort of rich red shade. And then we're just going to go in here with these brushes. And then, I don't suppose you can really see that. So we're going to take and just pull that down. Going into a little bit more color. Pulling it down. And we'll do something else with that, but. Just pulling it in here. And nice, firm strokes. You don't need to be too rough with this. But of course, you know, you can do it how you like it at home if you're gonna try and replicate it. But I'm gonna take some red, just straight on my brush. You can see the brush is sort of all splayed out. So I have to put it together. So I'm just putting it straight on there like that. And then I'm gonna go, I think just back over. I want the center one to be really red. Just a nice rich red. I think I ended up not liking how, how strong of a color that purple one was. Um, just gonna get in closer to the edges. Just a nice. And let's have this one be higher up. About the same length across as this part is here. So just to sort of give it some interesting. So I'm just taking some more paint right on the brush. It's a bit much. Blot it. And we're just gonna go over here. And that unevenness will give some visual interest. And we'll bring this one up a little higher over here, although I don't know how well you can see that. Um, so, there's uh, where we're at with that. I'll bring this up here. Maybe you can see it a little better. red color. Huh. So now we've got the stalks. We need a flower. And I've got some red on here. So we'll just draw a nice red flower. Mind you, this is something of an interpretation of flower. And another one. Right up here, and we'll have this one just going right at the top. And I just picked up a bit of the green. Now, I like this color, but we're going to go in with a finer, more detailed brush. And I'm just pulling this one out of the water. And I'm going to put, where's my white? I'm going to put some white here, just a little bit on my palette and take this brush, which is wet, it's a wet brush, absorb a little bit of the water on it. And we're just gonna go in here and make a really watery paste. I'm just gonna put a little dot right in the middle there. And I'm gonna work on some accents. So then blotting the excess white off. We're just gonna swirl the white out, let it blend in mixed together with the red. So you can see it gives this sort of cotton effect. And I'm gonna take a little bit more of the red onto the brush and just right in the middle again, build up the color and density. And again, so the idea is to just sort of feather the color out. Now, dabbing my brush in the white that I mixed before. And going back in here, just gonna mix up a little too red. A little too white, I mean. And so once again, we're just getting that cottony feather effect, right? Blending the two together. So yeah, once again, we're gonna take this, just intensify the color. And this one, 
just organically picked up a little of the green. So we're just going to work with that. We're just going to blend that green right into the red. So now we're going to work on these stalks some more. So I'm going to take a different shade of green. We're going to go into this sort of nice dark acrylic green. Just going to apply that right on top of the other place. And then just using this dirty purple brush, I'm just working this into my palette a little bit. Just working that into my palette a little bit. I'm going to take a little of this red, like a tiny amount, and just mix it into the green to warm it up a little bit. And we're going to go through this center one. And I haven't really thought of what I want to do here. Let's just put some green on this one. See how it goes. So just using a very basic up and down motion, let's extend this stock up to the top, very top of painting. And you can see some of the purple through the background, which I quite like. So this one here. And then I'm going to take some of this white. Right here you can see it. And I'm just going to apply it as a highlight where the sun is hitting it to make this stock, well, to give sort of the abstraction of sunlight on my plants. So I'm going to do that on all of the stalks, just tracing a little white line all along my green stalks. And like I said, this process works with wet, wet paint, so we're going to be and just going over it instead of at the angle that I had it. Just blending it out a little bit. And there you can see. It gives the impression of it. So I'm going to go just working on my palette, the color. Just blending what's on my brush together to create sort of an even base. And then blotting it right there. I'm going to go into my green again. I'm just working it on my palette. And I'm going to just brush up some places on here and really intensify that color in a nice streak, making sure to go all the way to the top and connecting at the bottom. So, once again, just blotting that color off here. And I just blot the excess off the brush just so it's, it's easier to use. And now, I think these colors are really rich, so I want to add in a nice, no, I don't want to add in that. Scratch that. I want to add in, I could go for an orange right now. Just sticking around anyway. Um, so I'm just going to add the orange onto the corner of the red. And I'm going to take some of the red, some of the orange, still have the green on the brush here. And I'm just going to mix a new color right here, which is sort of a weird conglomeration of all of them. Taking this orange, we're going to do just sort of a swoop around on top of my pom-pom flowers. And that color is a little bit too thick, so I'm going to blot the excess. Oh man, now it's green. Well, you know what Bob Ross says, we don't make mistakes. Just happy accident. All right, there we go. So now you've got more of a color gradient there, and we're going to take that same mix. A little bit more of the orange on my palette there. And we're just going to go right from the center out. It's just touching on there. And then let's take that orange again, and we're going to give our grass some dimension. So gonna, I guess it's not a grass, it's just the ground. But we're going to take this orange and then just... Blend it upwards. Now, if I could do this again, I would do it with a clean brush. I think in this case, the green isn't really working for me. But just sort of giving the brushing up, fading impression. And then just coming from the top now, using that red again, and blending down. So the two sort of mix together. More red here on my palette. Okay. Oops. Let's see. We're gonna start from the top. 
top and blend back down. So you see the finished effect, they sort of gradientify each other. There we go. A nice gentle pull. Alright. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now we've got a couple minutes to kill. We're gonna screw around some more. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Let's erase all our hard work. This is a shite painting, but here's a good idea. When you realize that you hate your painting, it's time to do whatever the heck you want with the paint that's left on your brush. Because you're just going to throw it away otherwise. So here's what I say. Put green everywhere. Put green where you want it. And then I feel like if you already don't like it, then once you're done goofing off, maybe you will like it. I'm going to do a glop of red in the middle. Little, little, um, singing mouth. And a glop of red and green down the center. It's a nice looking green you got there. How about some more orange right here? Sure. I don't give a damn. I'm just painting. I'm just experiencing my life. You know what? What does this painting need? Blue! That's what this painting needs. Blue. I'm gonna put some blue on my palette. Yes. You know what? Let's let's clean off this brush right here. What a weird freaking color. Let's stick our paintbrush in there. And let's grab the first paintbrush our hand touches. It's this teeny tiny one. So we're gonna take the blue on our brush. And we're just we're just gonna sure. How about that? It's gonna be some rainbow flowers. Have a nice blue stripe right there. Were you prepared for that? I wasn't. I wasn't expecting stripes. You know what this needs? Dots. This is your world. You can do anything you want. Some of these dots are kind of lopsided, but still good. Let's add some blue little leafy doodads in here. Little leafies. Those are looking good. Put some little veinies in there. How about a little one right here? You go, little leaf. You do you. And we'll turn these into little singing people. Wow, they look insane. That's great. I think our, our work here is done here. Maybe one more leaf. Little leafy arms. Looking good. Well, here's the finished product. It's these little singing leafy guys. Can you see that? Looking good. Looking good. Oh. I'll be I'll be seeing ya. Catch you later.